What's good, YouTube? It's your main man, Codorm, and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the Terrain extension in Godot 4.1. It was added not too long ago, and I'm going to show you how to use it. It's a really good extension that you can use to make terrains really easily. I made a whole lot of videos using it in Godot 3, so now let's do this in Godot 4. So the first thing you want to do is go over to the Asset page, and you want to search up Height Map Terrain. It should have a thumbnail like this. You can go ahead and install it and go over to Project Settings. From there, you want to go to the Plugins tab and enable the Height Map Terrain plugin. Plugin. And now you're done with the setup and we can get to the scene tree. So for anyone who doesn't know or might not remember, the terrain comes in the form of a node. So add a node and then look up terrain and you should just add H terrain. Now it should be in your tree and from there you should get a node configuration warning. And this is because you haven't chosen a data directory. So head over to the inspector tab, go down to data directory and click on the folder icon. Here you need to create a folder to assign the terrain to. So you can create a new folder or use one that you already have. So once you're done with that, you can just select the current folder and you should be good. You should see a big white mesh appear on your screen and I would suggest centering it because it is a big mesh. So once you're done with that you should have something like this a big white plane on your screen and now I want to show you how to add a material texture to the plane. Now you can go over to edit or import it really doesn't matter. Down near the textures panel in here now you're going to need a shade or a material texture to put in here. You don't have to fill up all of these slots with something for the texture to work but I would suggest doing so if you want the best texture. So here I've downloaded a material texture I'll leave a link to it in the comments or description. Go to edit and load up the albedo and normal in their respective slots. And then the whole plane should be whatever texture you loaded up. Now we still don't have a terrain, so go all the way up to the terrain panel. Click terrain and then go generate. Now a new pop-up window should open. It should look something like this. You might have to shrink the window at first. Now here you can do a bunch of things. Here you can basically change the way the terrain looks. You can also randomize the seed, which will procedurally generate a terrain for you, but it won't change any of the other settings that you had. But here you can just kind of go for whatever you want and then you can just click apply and boom you have a terrain as for the tools in the top panel these basically edit the terrain so you have your raise height tool which is exactly what it sounds like it raises the height of the terrain and before i go any further i should specify that this only affects the area within the brush not the whole terrain the brush being that red circle that's locked to your mouse so you have raise height lower height lower height can create holes and stuff i wouldn't use this tool too often unless i was making like a hole or something deep then you have your smooth height tool this one will make sure sharp edges on your terrain more smooth and rounded. The level and flatten tool kind of do the same thing. They just even out the height of the terrain. There's the erode tool which takes chunks out of the terrain. Then you have your texture paint and color paint tools. Color paint paints the terrain a solid color while texture paint paints the terrain the selected texture that you have. You have the grass paint tool which doesn't work unless you have a detail layer. And then you have the cut holes tool which will just cut the holes in the terrain. Then you have the brush tool. There are different shapes and styles that these come in. There's also a scratch pad now that you can use to test out the brush before you use it on the terrain. There are a few other new stuff here that I want to go over but not today. This was the baseline stuff and the stuff I think people will be using the most so I hope you learned something. Have a great rest of your day and I'm out of here.